Hiya, Sean. Hiya. Yeah, okay. Yep. Uh, I, I imagine your pride in that performance is tempered slightly by the fact you didn't get three points and had to have a one. Uh, yeah, somewhat. I mean, um, I didn't think there was too much in it first half, although we were 1-0 down. I thought, you know, we had a, 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 a decent handle on the game. It was just the front third. We couldn't have, we didn't really find that conviction that counts. We created two or three very good chances. Um, and that's all I said at half-time, really. I thought the energy was good, the commitment to the performance, but just a bit more belief in our play in the final third. And, and I thought second half, we were outstanding. And like I say, I mean... You know, I don't, I don't want to cry it in because there's other games you get something from where maybe you could argue you don't deserve it. But today I thought it was a head scratcher that we didn't get all three points with a performance like that, particularly second half. Yeah, that second half moves chance after chance after chance, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I've spoken recently about it's not always how many chances you create, it's the quality. But I think there was both today. I think there was 20 odd chances, seven on target, eight on target, but also the quality of the chances, I thought. Some of the play, some of the effective play. And I thought we asked so many questions of them in the second half, but particularly second half, I must say. Um, and even when they changed their shape, I still think we just carried on, you know, in the same way that we were working. We, we kept using the ball better. We kept asking so many questions. And so I'm very pleased with the performance. You know, only, only a, a, a tiny bit frustrated that we don't get all three because it's a, a very pleasing uh, performance from the players. But after their two wins and impressive wins this week, it says a lot that their goalkeeper was their most impressive player, perhaps, isn't it? Yeah, but look, I mean, you know, they're, they're, they're big performances they've had um, and that can take it out of their players. Um, I'm not taking away from our performance, but it can. Um, maybe there's a bit of that, but that's the way it goes. We, you know, we've had them performances recently um, and we've had to follow on and get on with the next game. But no, it was, it, it was really pleasing, particularly, particularly in the second half. So many good individual performances as well. I thought Matt Lowen was excellent. You know, our, our back four in general were very strong. Cork and Westy considered in their play. Yohan Goodmanson looking sharper and sharper all the time, Dwight growing into the game and two centre forwards being very effective second half of their link play. So, you know, a lot of good performances today, so pleased for that as well. I imagine Johan jumped from your bad books into your good books after the corner and then scoring the goal. Yeah, I mean, look, he, you know, funnily enough, I, I, they, are, they are a threat because they're a very strong, very big physical side. So we, we're aware of that and, you know, sometimes their positions are important. I, th I think he just drifts off the post slightly and it goes past him, but second half I thought he was outstanding, you know, and, and his movement and his control play and he scores a goal. A very, you know, a lot more, like I say, the, the biggest word I could use today was conviction. You know, second half the conviction in our, our attacking play and Johans was, was a, a version of that, you know, good technique, made sure it stayed low, hits it clean and scores a goal. And, and like I say, there was other big moments for us that didn't quite go our way today, but, but very pleased overall. Final point, no injuries and players coming back. Any back, do you think, for Tuesday? Uh, we'll see. I mean, you know, it comes around quickly. We've got a big uh, game schedule, you know, still. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. But there's more promising signs from the, the players that are injured generally. It's just how quick we can get back. And then, like I've spoken about in recent weeks, the risk and reward of whether you do play them or you don't. So we're going to have to look at that as well. Yes, Sean, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, James. Dan Black, Burnley Express, please. Hi, Sean. Hi. Uh, the poor goal from your, your standards to, to give away in the first half, but a super response in the second. Yeah, you've got to be careful with, with using it as a poor goal. I mean, it's a great ball in from them and it's a good header. Um, we didn't deal with the first contact second, um, but it can happen. Uh, but yeah, the. I didn't think there was a lack of response in the first half. I thought we, we kept working hard to cause uh, them problems. Um, we, we didn't open their shape up as much first half. We still had two or three really big chances, you know, very important chances. Um, so I think at half time it was more about the mentality to take the game on and, and rather than kind of waiting for something to happen, make it happen. And I think we did that in the second half, quite obviously. Yeah, controlled the game really well and then Nick Bob did another quiet afternoon. Yeah, I was pleased with the, the performance with and without the ball. Um, Popey didn't have a lot to do today, which is always pleasing generally. Second half, um, you know, the, the defending, uh, defending side of the game was very pleasing. We talked to the players a lot about framework and freedom. The framework is quite obvious. You've got to defend well in the Premier League, but then that freedom to go and play from your shape. And I thought we did that very, very well second half. You know, we mixed our play, we asked lots of questions of the opposition. But in transition, we pressed hard and made sure the distances were right defensively. So very, very pleasing second half without a doubt. Yeah, you spoke about the, the different ways you created chances against Fulham and, and you were really happy that afternoon. Very similar this afternoon as well in, in the way you opened the ground. Yeah, well, as just mentioned, you know, it's... I often speak, as I'll mention again, the, the quality of chance. But I thought there was both today, 20 odd chances, um, but also the quality of chance. I mean, you know, on another day, don't get me wrong, we've got to make them days happen. Another day, I don't think there would have been 
too many people disgruntled if it was two or three to us, you know, today with the, the amount of quality that we had going forwards. We've got to continue with that, though, because, you know, it's, it's one of the things that we have questioned this season, but that freedom to go and attack, like we did second half, we've got to continue with that mentality um, and find that balance because you've still got to work in transition when you are opening up the game. If the ball turns over, you've got to work in transition fast and see the pitch quickly, which I thought we did, uh, second half particularly. And that's a huge goal for you, isn't it? That'll be, that'll be a confidence to Yeah, I'm pleased with you. And I mean, I've been mentioning recently that, you know, the, the challenge we've had is not just players being fit, it's being Premier League fit. And I think he's getting back to that. You know, his sharpness is coming, his, his, his awareness, his understanding, which is good anyway. And then that comes from it, that true fitness, which the Premier League games bring you. And I think he's getting there now, so I'm very pleased for him. Yeah, good partnership with uh, Matt Lowton as well. I thought Matt was excellent today, um, all through the game actually. Um, you know, even first half, he was, he was getting forward, he was asking questions of their shape, because uh, obviously with the back five, you know, dragging them out of their slots and getting our full-backs involved more, and I thought we did that well. Matt David, we did everything uh, apart from score. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he gets himself a lovely little layoff for the chance and gets himself into a great position. It was almost he caught it too clean and their keeper makes a save. It's one of them, if he catches it with his toe, it probably dribbles in, you know, but... Um, there was a number of other moments when I thought he was good. Look, he's another one. We want players to be effective. You know, when they come in the side, we want them to be effective. And I thought he grew into the game nicely for us. As did Barnsley. I thought the two of them, second half, were, were very, very effective. Thanks, John. Thank you. Thanks. And uh, Jordan Davis, please. Well, we'll see, but he's certainly doing himself no harm with the performances he's putting in. Um, not just his, his quality moments, because I thought second half he had plenty of them, but his physical, um, his physical sort of show um, for the side, that being running. You know, his running ability, he's quick, we know that, he's sharp, but he, equally his work ethic today. And I thought he was very good the other day against Man City, because it's tough playing against them, but his shape was good, his defensive understanding was good, and his willingness to work for the team, and I think that's adding to his performances. Cheers. Thanks, Jordan. Anybody else want to come in before we pack up? No? Cheers, everyone. Thanks See you later. Much. Thank you.